So guys, the weekend has come and I'm not driving grandma. Why? Well, because I sold the car my wife's been driving. Everything's for sale in the car business. And she needs something else to drive. So what are we taking her? We're gonna let her drive the 2012 Hyundai Elantra. But this isn't just any old Hyundai Elantra. It's special. How? Let me show you. Or take a listen. Well, not because the battery's dead, but we'll fix that. Just one sec. That's what makes it special. Now, although I joke around about this car being special or having a special feature, it kind of does and it kind of doesn't. So when we bought the car, it was disclosed that the Hyundai recall on these 1.8 liter engines had been done. So the short block was brand new. You could even tell when you pop the hood, the block was all nice and shiny. We thought, great, we're going to be getting ourselves a car that has 173,000 kilometers, which is probably about 115,000 miles with a brand new motor. Perfect. The downside to that was when we bought it, the engine was already warmed up. People were, had already been starting it that day and that clacking noise wasn't there. We brought it home and insisted that we didn't remember that noise being there. Uh, we brought the car home, ran it through the shop, did all of our regular pre-sale inspection on it and still no noise. However, as it sat on the lot and of course, you know, when it sits longer, the oil drains out of it that noise is even more per permanent, Predo predominant. That noise is even more predominant, that's the word I'm looking for, than what it would be if it was just sitting, say, for a couple of hours. So anyways, uh, we tried to go back to the auction. They wouldn't do anything for us, unfortunately, uh, because we only have a certain period of time to disclose any issues with a vehicle. Long story short, it's got a problem. Called Hyundai, verified that it is the CVVT solenoids on the end of the camshafts uh, that do tend to wear out. And uh, when they do lose their oil pressure after sitting for so long, they'll make that clacking noise when they start up. But according to Hyundai, they'll go forever that way. And well, we, we've got a couple of customers out there that uh, have been driving them that way for a very long time and no major issues. So we're gonna fix it on this one. I ordered the parts today, not from Hyundai, because Hyundai wanted basically a thousand dollars. One was 540, the other one was like 360, and I wasn't about to spend a thousand dollars on a car with this kind of mileage. Uh, we're basically throwing profit away. So I did get the part numbers. I checked them out on eBay, on Amazon, and everywhere else that I could find to see what the cheapest price was and well for 300 bucks american i've ordered them granted they're coming from korea go figure and we probably will have them in three or four weeks but in the meantime this is the car i'm gonna let my wife drive for a while we can't sell it on the lot the way it is she needs a vehicle she's gonna drive this for a while uh, which doesn't hurt get some mileage put on them and uh, you know get everything kind of working again clean those brakes up and such and that will be what she'll drive for a while. Her new job is taking her on a little bit of a trip where she's got to travel a little bit for a few, uh, for a few months. So uh, it won't hurt for her to be driving this because these vehicles are known to be super on fuel. Well, good morning, guys. This is Monday morning. It is a wet one and it is still quite dark out. I don't know how it's coming across on the camera, but where we left off was getting my wife into the new Hyundai. Not new, it's 2012, but new to her. Anyways, I wanted to give you guys a quick update before the skies open up because it is starting to mist a little bit heavy. You might see it on my glasses. So let's get into that. It is going to be a little bit of an easy one because all three new cars to the lot are right here. Yes, they're all white. Let's take a look. So we've got the 2015 Honda Fit. Now I brought this in from uh, Ontario, Ottawa to be exact, uh, on spec for a customer. Now they'll be trading in their 2010 GMC Terrain 
and they're downsizing and they're going with a Japanese vehicle. They traded in a Honda Fit quite a while ago and they've missed it ever since. So they're getting the Honda Fit. 2012 Hyundai Sonata. This car here, we basically didn't have to really do anything to it. We cleaned it, we put it through the shop and uh, it really didn't need anything other than the brakes being serviced, an oil change and an inspection. So this car has 154,000 kilometers, which is still under 100,000 miles and shows really, really well. Hopefully we get this one sold really quick. And then we come down to the 2013 Chevy Sonic. This is a hatchback, it's an LT model, so it's got the 1.8 and it also has only, I think, 97 thousand kilometers we did put some new brakes and new tires on it we gave it a cleaning on the inside this car should sell very very quickly so uh, we've had the, the Sonics before and they have been good sellers for us nothing new to report on the SUV line other than the 2011 Ford Escape that my wife was driving we come over to the other side of the lot and the only hole that is here is where the white Hyundai Elantra was that my wife is now driving the O2 Honda CRV is working like a top. We've been using it for jigging around town, running for parts, this and that, and it's not missing a beat. That head gasket was a godsend. We did get that in and it's fixed. So even though we originally sold this for $29.95 and some of you hecklers in the comments said, oh, you'll never get it. Well, we did sell it and we did get $29.95 out of it. So even though we put a little bit more money into it, we're still gonna ask $29.95, new head gasket, Again, tires are good, it passes inspection, the air conditioning, cruise control, all that stuff works. So it's four wheel drive, it's gonna make somebody a really, really good vehicle. So if you're interested, hit me up. And yes, you've probably noticed that Bubbles is still sitting at the back of the lot. Looking pretty sad too, I might add. So gone is the Kachow stance and now we're going for something different? I don't know. Anyways, by the time you guys see this video, it is going to be Saturday, which means it's the Canadian Thanksgiving long weekend. Hopefully, sometime this upcoming week, we are gonna get this loaded onto a trailer and we're gonna get it to an undisclosed location and we'll finally blow the motor and blow up bubbles. So I hope you guys will tune in for that. It's starting to rain. I'm gonna go inside and close out this video. So while we're in here, we might as well open things up because we're getting ready to open. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little lot update on uh, some of the things that we have coming and uh, going, as well as the quick little update on Bubbles. As you see, Bubbles has not moved from where we left you off last time, but stay tuned for an upcoming video. There are several links in the description box below. The first one being my new Spreadshirt store where you can get your very own original old car auto guy focus on the windshield or the new demise of bubbles t-shirt the car guy and six fan show is on thursday evenings i hope you will check that out straight six fan and i host an automotive talk show where we answer your questions and we talk about automotive things his link is available in the description box the second one down below hope you go over there check him out and make sure you subscribe to him so that when we do go live you will see that notification guys stay focused on the windshield not the rearview mirror i love you all god bless let's do it again real soon